Good morning and a warm welcome to your show, Sunny Mornings in Boston. I'm your host, Melissa, and it's Friday, August 9th. You'll be interested to know, 36 years ago, today in 1988, Wayne Gretzky, a Canadian hockey player, was traded from the Edmonton Oilers to the Los Angeles Kings, a deal that shocked the sports world and stunned his home country, where he was a national icon. This monumental trade changed the landscape of professional hockey and highlighted Gretzky's immense impact on the sport. So now you know. And now, it's time for the weather report. It looks like we're in for some cloudy skies with a high near 83. Expect a sea breeze blowing at 6 to 14 miles per hour. There is a 40% chance of rain and thunderstorms, especially before 2 p.m., with light rainfall expected. Tonight, a 70% chance of thunderstorms and patchy fog with a low around 74. Winds from the south might gust up to 24 miles per hour. For all you beach runners out there, the first low tide Friday will be at 9.15, with a high tide at 10.15. The near shore buoy at Cape Cod Bay reads 64 degrees for the water temperature. Looking ahead in the weather, expect patchy fog and thunderstorms Saturday with highs near 85. Nights will be mostly clear with lows around 65. From Sunday through Tuesday, expect sunny days with highs in the low 80s and mostly clear nights. Bonjour, food enthusiasts. This podcast is brought to you by Versailles Cafe and Pastries in Encinitas. Nestled on El Camino Real South, just north of Encinitas Boulevard, this cafe is a haven for culinary delights. Indulge in their amazing Eggs Benedict or their gluten-free crates. You can grab a panini for lunch or just breeze on through to get your morning coffee. They are open every day from 8 to 5. So stop on by and don't forget to tell them. Sunny morning send you. In local news, Brandon Ayuk, the 49ers receiver, is at the center of a media fracas in Boston. Sports Business Daily reports a clash between longtime Patriots reporters Mike Grace and Mike Felger. Felger accused Grace of pushing a team-friendly report on a potential trade. Felger stated, To me, I smell a rat with the reporting on the money. Grace called into Felger's show to defend himself, saying, The insinuation that bothers me is that you think, Mike, that this information is coming from the team. Oh boy, things are starting to heat up in Beantown. Now on to sports. The United States men's basketball team triumphed over Serbia in a thrilling semifinal, securing a 95 to 91 victory. Steph Curry dazzled with 36 points on 12 for 19 shooting. Kevin Durant and Devin Booker ignited a fourth quarter rally with consecutive three pointers, changing the game's momentum. The United States will now face France for the gold medal at 9.30 p.m. local time on Saturday. LeBron James praised Curry's performance, saying, it was only a matter of time before he had one of these games. Serbia's Nikola Jokic and Bogdan Bogdanovic led their team with strong performances. In local sports, tonight, the Red Sox are at home to take on the Astros. In top news, Les Wexner, the billionaire behind Victoria's Secret, is reaping benefits from a $1 million seed investment in Atlantic crypto, now known as Core Weave. His family trust's stake in Core Weave, which is valued at $19 billion, has ballooned to $720 million. This investment, initially advised by Florence Capital Advisors, is now under legal scrutiny. Core Weave, once a struggling cryptocurrency miner, evolved into a major AI cloud service provider. 
Wexner's real estate moves, including land sales to tech giants, have further solidified his financial standing. In business news, the California wine industry is facing turmoil as one of its largest companies, Vintage Wine Estates, filed for bankruptcy. The company plans to lay off its entire California workforce and delist from the stock market just three years after going public. Despite broader industry struggles, many issues were unique to Vintage, including its rushed public listing through a special purpose acquisition corporation in 2021. Financial reporting errors, lawsuits, and leadership changes further compounded its problems. The industry may now see a disruption in merger and acquisition cycles, with Vintage's assets hitting the market at discounted prices. In crypto movement, Bitcoin is just under $61,400. Ethereum is just under $2,700. And Solana is $160. Moving on to a more local vibe. In our community spotlight on health and wellness, we are working with a national Pilates studio to bring you some free classes, so listen up. Check out Club Pilates with several locations in the Boston area. Pilates presents a comprehensive wellness approach, cultivating strength, reducing tension, and elevating mental well-being. Scientific research affirms its benefits. So now you can check out Club Pilates for a free class with locations in Canton, Wellesley, Hingham, Brookline, and Framingham. Just be sure to tell them Sunny Morning sent you by. And now back to the show. Let's talk tech. A U.S. court has ordered the bankrupt cryptocurrency exchange FTX to pay $12 billion and $700 million in relief to its customers, according to the Commodity Futures Trading Commission. FTX misled customers with an illusion that it was a safe and secure place to access crypto markets, then misappropriated their deposits for risky investments, said Chairman Rostin Benham. The settlement requires FTX to pay $8 billion and $700 million in restitution and $4 billion in disgorgement. Founder Sam Bankman-Fried, sentenced to 25 years for stealing $8 billion, has appealed. Votes on the bankruptcy proposal are due on August 16th. And in entertainment news, Warner Brothers Discovery is facing significant struggles as its stock plunges due to the expected loss of the National Basketball Association contract and underperformance in key business units. The company reported a $9 billion write-down in its cable TV channel's value, alarming investors. Shares fell by 11% after acknowledging the loss of the National Basketball Association contract during its second quarter earnings call. Chief Executive David Zaslav highlighted changing market conditions for legacy media companies. Analysts suggest asset sales to stabilize the company, which reported a net loss of nearly $10 billion for the quarter. Well, all righty, folks, it's time for the quote of the day. And today, our quote comes from the Canadian Hall of Famer, Wayne Gretzky. And he said, the day I stop giving is the day I stop receiving. The day I stop learning is the day I stop growing. You miss 100% of the shots you don't take. And that's a wrap for this morning. You can check out our Instagram, YouTube, and TikTok for some captivating aerial videos with local news and the weather reports. Have an amazing day, my good friends. We'll see you tomorrow with another episode of Sunny Mornings in Boston.